everyone, it's Karen Jean. Welcome back. I'm up here in the studio. It's been probably a few days. My grandson's football team had their Super Bowl on Saturday and they lost, which is very sad. But my grandson made all stars. So now there's another game this coming Sunday, which I will not be able to go to because I'm covering uh, service for a friend. But what we're doing today, I have had this, oh, good Lord, book. I got it at my library for $3. And I thought, oh, this would be so great for journals. Big pictures, small pictures, right? The Barnes Foundation is here in Philadelphia area and uh, Great French Paintings from the Barnes Foundation, who doesn't love a great French painting. Great French painting, Impressionist, Post-Impressionist, Early Modern. So, oh, excuse me as I yawn. Uh, little pictures. I actually tore him out. Um, big pictures. Big and little pictures. Multiple copies. Anyway, it's a lovely book. It's a heavy book. And um, because with these stickers... We've introduced the um, artistic element that, right? I'm not quite sure if that's, that's not the right expression. Paintings. We've introduced paintings. So I was going through the book and I pulled out some stuff. Now, see, I told you I pulled him out. I was looking at colors. Also, I think that means male. Vincent, it's a Van Gogh. He's not French. Um... Oh, maybe it's not a Van Gogh. Why does it say Vincent on it? I don't know. Um, portrait of Joseph Roulin. Rul anyway, so I pulled that out for colors. This might be the wrong... I don't know. I pulled it out. And then this one. <laughs> this one. This is her. But I cut this one out because of the colors. And I liked it. And then on the reverse, it happened... Um, because see, she was on one side and then this here was, this here was right here. So I cut this out and then I'm like, oh, well, so I'm going to, we're going to make this a flap in the book, but I saved the, obviously I saved the bits that I cut out. And then there's this lovely one, which has, this is a close up of one section of this on the other side. I was thinking, I'm, I'm not quite sure what I want to do with this. I don't want to I was I was thinking of some kind of folded pocket kind of thing. But I don't necessarily want to start folding this and then ruin it, right? So, um so that's where we are. So today we're going to play with um play with this. And it's funny because uh while I was going through this book and pulling out pictures, I turned on YouTube and there was Tina over at Shabby Dabby Doo Dot doing the same thing. Well, not the same thing. I'm not quite sure. She was using um, pictures of artwork or something in the journal. Now, because um, see this, see the color, the blue, that blue is kind of in the journal. Maybe not. I don't know. That might be the only spot. Um, oh gosh, <laughs> it's a bit, a bit chilly. We finally lost summer. There's our lovely, our lovely behind the veil. Um, we finally lost summer and well, I, to, I don't know, figure out if I'm going to do anything with it. It's like, so here, like with the blues, I don't know. Um, yeah, so it's a bit chilly and because it cost me over $900 to fill my um, tank with oil. I am refusing to turn the heat up at the moment beyond, um, I think it said it's 63 or 64. So it's a little bit chilly up here. And I just might have to give in. See, like here, there's the blue again. But this is already, already that. So, um... I don't know. And I'm really thinking, what I'm thinking is like, uh, I'm just going to hinge it with, I don't want to take 
too much away from the actual painting. I was going to hinge it with washi tape, or I could use micropore, which kind of disappears into the background. Um, right? And on something like this, so when it flips up, it can be hiding um, like some kind of, so it would be, so this way, it would go like this, this way. It would, it could be covering something or in this way, like, I don't know. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. Um, so let me, let me see what we have here. Now this is the signature center. We could do it on the, on the signature center. Um, right. We could do it on the signature center. Um, do it here. I like the way that looks there. Right? With that, with that on the background. And then we could flip over. So what I'm thinking, what I'm just, what I'm just thinking right now is actually envelopes. Um, hold on a second. Uh, hold on. This might be too bright. This is one I had done a while ago. Um, that looks like broken china and spritzed with water, although it could be clear skies too. I don't know. But we can... I a vault. Um, we can glue it down this way. <laughs> Gosh, dog goes upset about something. <laughs> we could glue glue this down here. And then, like, maybe, I don't know, put something else on top of here. Um, that can be there. This can be hinged, right? Like that. I like that. Um, and then on this side, it would be her. Uh, we could do... Uh, we could do it this way, but I think that... Um, oops. Yeah. Um, I think this, I think she looks better on this. And we don't have to do it exactly lined up either. We can offset it. Like I can put her down here, right? She doesn't have to be exactly lined up with it. Put her down here. So, the question is... Um, how we want to put this envelope. Here, here she comes. Hi, doggo. We could also do something like this. We can put it this way. She could be down here, right? Flip it up. You have some kind of journaling space. Flip it open. You have a pocket. And then we could put something here. Let's take a look at it the other side. If we do it, <coughs> excuse me, that way, we're going to need to distress this maybe. I don't like the whiteness of it. Put something there, and that can we can make that actually just a little tuck spot. Okay, so let's see what's going to go best. Oh, and let me show you what I did, if I can find them. <laughs> what I did the other day, I've been, it's, it's been a rough week for me. I, I swatched out my, um, distress inks and my Simon Hurley's. And what I've noticed, what I noticed when I was swatching these out, I just used my circle punch. What I, what I noticed about these is that, and I think it's because the distress oxides are a hybrid ink that, um, there are colors here that I have not used in a very long time, maybe some not even, right? They've been sitting there for a long time. And 
I didn't have any problem with them being dry. The Simon Hurleys, I have the reinkers for a lot of the Simon Hurleys. I was missing the reinkers on a couple of them, and I'm telling you, I really needed the reinkers on these. And um, it could be because it's a different type of ink. Um, like, uh, where's the Minty Fresh? Minty Fresh. There it is right there. Uh, it, it, it needs to be re-inked. That's, you know, but anyway, so, so I don't know, but this makes this easier because now I have, and this is, I have Bristol, Strathmore Bristol white cardstock, um, which I love. Um, so that's what I, uh, did this on, but it makes it easier See, this is walnut stain, and that's ground espresso. And right there, they're looking an awful lot alike. But here's vintage photo. Um, and I guess we'll do a vintage photo. And I want, what do I want? What do I want? What's this? No, I don't want to do that. That's a piece of deli paper. Um, I'm looking for, and since I cleaned up my desk, I don't have scrap papers around. I ordered these. I'm going to be playing with them sometime soon. Here, here's a bit of book page. So they're just sitting over here to the side. All right, so we said um, vintage photo. I don't have the re-inkers for any of my uh, Distress Oxides, quite honestly. I do. I have one. I have um, Broken China. Um, uh, but, well, hold on a second. Do we nest, Do we want to do it... Like, I'm going to cover that back up. This is one nice thing about about having these. I'm thinking... Come on. Hello. There are, like, these oranges. Which the colors might not be... Not be quite... Not quite be... Um, what is that? Fossilized amber. It's a little bit too orange. We'll go with the distress. We'll go with the um, vintage photo. Let's see how we do. Let's see how we do with vintage photo. See, it's still rather juicy. I probably should have used a brush as opposed to the foam blending tool. Oh my goodness. And the brown and blue, obviously. Those are colors that go very well together. Let's, oh, I'm having a lot of problems with my shoulder. I need to call my doctor, get in to see a uh, shoulder guy. I'm going to just gently spritz this with water with the Dispress spray. The mister that I have, I think I told you before. Um, that might be too much. It's starting to pull up. Um, depending upon... Here, I'll show you. So I spray it. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it. I stopped spraying it and it still sprays out. I don't know if you caught that. Let's try it again. Oh, no. All the way down. See, it still sprays out. Still spraying out. All right. Well, let's see. I think I'm going to have to take this over to the... Um, I'm going to have to kill that, too. Take it over to the ironing board, and the iron is not even preheating. I will be back. What I think I need to do, because see, this is, it's going to be like this, but this is kind of pretty white too. So first I'm going to put a piece of um, microport down on that. I didn't want to iron on top of that until, um, because I didn't want to activate that glue, right? Did not want to activate the glue. So... Put a piece of micropore down. And now I can iron on top of it. But I was thinking I need... To, look, I ripped it up a little bit there. The iron caught that corner. 
Um, so I'm going to just put a little bit of vintage photo down, spritz it with some water, get that moving a little bit, and just kind of do something a little bit to the to that to that edge, right? Just trying to get it a little bit there. And clean up as we go. There. <laughs> and uh, now I'm going to, because this, you're not going to see this piece. This is going to be like that. Um, hmm. Maybe I should do a little bit more of that to get the, the other edge the other edges. There we go. Just like this. Just a little bit. I mean, I could do this with the one of the oops. There. Take away some of that brightness. Um Maybe do the same for here. Just tone down that just a little bit. There. And. There we go. There. Mess it up a bit. Let's mess it up a bit. Where is that piece of. Here it is. Ouch. Okay. I'm going to go iron this. I'll be back. Okay. I've ironed it. And so what ironing really has done, aside from drying it, is it's flattened it. Because before it was a bit wavy. So. And I have to figure out what I'm going to do about that. Maybe I could just leave it. Or cut this away. I'm not cutting that away. Hmm put a little piece of tape or something on it. Okay, so we were going to put this here and we're going to just glue down uh, oh, I haven't been up here in a couple days, a few days. I don't remember the last time I was up here actually. I'm going to look at that. I haven't been up here in a few days. I popped that thing off and it's beautiful. There's, because no air gets in, it is, I am, I am running a bead of glue right along there. Um, it's a beautiful thing. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got. It's a beautiful thing. I'm telling you, it's a beautiful thing. Okay. So we have this here. I do want to, just to secure it, is I am going to run a piece of washi tape along here. Now, over here are the pieces of washi tape that, not the pieces, these are the washi tapes <laughs> that I have thus far pulled out. Right, 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 right. Um... We can do, I don't know, I guess we can do, we can do this one maybe? We haven't used this one yet. Yep, yeah, let's use this one. Um, let us do 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 Okay. And ouch glue stick. I still have to go through and see if I have any other glue sticks aside from this um, Scotch Create. Because in the past, you've seen me rip, pull something up with no problem whatsoever that I had used that glue stick on. So that is my concern. Or I'm going to do it this way because these do have Eiffel Towers on them. And we do not want the Eiffel Towers to be upside down. 
Yes, I know I put that down there a little bit crooked. Oh. There. And there. And what I was just thinking as well, let me cover that up, is, right, we said we were going to do this. We are going to put her on here, right? And she was going to do the flippy floppy thing like that. There's a gap. What's going on here is there's a gap, which is annoying to me, but we'll make it work. We shall make it work. We have our Eiffel Tower, which we can put down here, or there's this, it's a tag. I thought we could turn that into a pocket liking this hinge. I'm not liking it. I mean, I like the elements of it. I just don't like the way it's working at the moment. Let me, let me clarify that, please. Um, okay, well, that's, that's what it is for now. And we can figure out, we can round these corners if we wanted to. Just a wee bit. Ouch. Ooh. Just a wee bit. There. Um. We could actually, which... I don't think I'm going to do, but what you can do in something like this is you could put down a piece of vellum or acetate. Acetate's kind of heavy, though. Vellum's much thinner, more lightweight. Um, so that you could you could turn it into a pocket, but you can still see that, right? And I feel that this does need to be decorated somehow. I'm not quite sure how. Let's just leave that for the moment and um, see what else we have. We have this, right, which is rather large, so this whole page would be a flip out. We have this one, and I was thinking that he would be ugh, a flip out, right, because I cut him down to eight and a half. We would fold him over and then um, flip, flip him out. Right. I think that I might have to trim him down. It depends on what side of the page I put him on. He might have to be trimmed down because I don't want to lose any of him, right? So we would have to figure that out. So let's take a let's take a gander, let's take a think. Um let's take a think. Oh, we could do that. Not quite sure. We could put them on here, right? We could put them on here and um, All right, I need to, ow, scoreboard. I need the larger scoreboard. I need to center him, figure out where, where I'm cutting, if anywhere, right? Because it's five and a half. I need him to be at... 
five and a half, two and a half, two and three quarters. I need him to be at about there, two and three quarters. So I need to take off that much, about. So if I take off that much, Uh, maybe a little bit more. Okay. Just to make sure that he stays centered. So if I take out a little bit more. Oh. Um, we can move some of these things aside. Ouch. So if I take out. If I take out right to where it says Vincent. Oh, that was, that was, ooh, and we could use this to edge a page. It's very pretty. Okay, and uh, let's come back here to there, to there. Tell me I did it crooked. Tell me I did it crooked. And that gives us just this much. All right, so let's get that down. And actually, I'm just going to glue it down. But let's see. There. Eh, I took off a little bit too much. He's not quite centered, but that's okay. We're not going to fuss with that. So, well, now he needs to go on one of these pages. Is that the page he's going to go on is the question. Where else can we put him? Uh, no, not with that purple. We could put him here. Why don't we put him back here? Why don't we put him here? Okay, and again, I'm using the liquid glue. I'm just going to glue the whole thing down. Okay. And I realized that we could have done something with the back of this first. Let's see if we don't mess it up this time. But um, but I just I'm not sure what we're gonna do with that. So let's there. There. Okay. And if we want, we can also put something down here to hinge it, but I don't think that's necessary because that's been glued what down. What I'm going to do is, all right, this is what we're gonna do. We need it five inches. First, I'm gonna trim off the excess, right? I'm not quite sure that was straight, truth be told. Um, no, I don't want to. Don't want to cut anything from there. I uh, will cut it from here. Okay. So I will cut off some of this. I don't need that much on the bottom. And I'm going to get out. Uh, the board now. This is. Did we cut it in a normal? No, we did not. Um, 
Okay, what we want to do is we want to make it five inches. We need to take off an inch and a half, three quarters of an inch on either side. We're not taking off, we are scoring. Three quarters of an inch. Mm, more or less there, three quarters of an inch. What has this left me with? More or less five inches. Five and uh, that's fine. Okay, and then we need to score the bottom here. Oh, just... Just there. Let's see how we did. Okay. Now, oh, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to trim these down. I don't want them that large. So I think what I'll do is I'll bring over the Stampin' Up! one. Um, I want it... I think that should be half an inch. Put that on the half an inch. There. Just trim it down just a little bit. Okay, then we're going to chop our corners and angle our tops. Okay, now this pocket is larger, is deeper. Whoops, let me come back here. Not quite, did not quite get that angle there. Um, there. So how wide is this? One, two, three. One, two, three. I usually do two and a half. Should I cut her down to two and a half or should I leave her where she's at? Um, this is giving me grief still. I don't know why. There, that's better. Um, I guess we'll leave her where she's at. Do we want to put a thumb notch? Not necessary with a gusseted pocket. Uh, also, what are we going to do back there? I mean, this is the bottom half of a woman. We could do some kind of mixed media. Uh, I'll be back. I don't know if you guys remember this book I got at the dollar store. Look at her. Um, Something like that. Let's see what else we have in here. See if I can get this off without ruining. There we go. Without ruining the picture underneath it. In one of my journals that I made, I think it's the Bohemian Journal, I used a different picture of her and I put feathers on it and put her under like a flap and stuff. Fabulous, fabulous. 
Um, okay. So now we have a cool envelope we can use in a journal as well. disappears but oh maybe this one what do you think maybe why not i'm all for the why nots right now oh wait a second um let's that gusseted pocket is all nice and neat and tidy and Pair this. Oh, let's tear this a little bit more. Get rid of that bit of gray on the top there. Get rid of some of that. rid of some of it over here. Hmm. I don't know. What are you thinking? some of the gloss. Of that. We could offset her like that, right? Okay. This is kind of, this is where that paper tore, kind of like split itself. So... Trying to get the glue down to the edges. And let me check this. Oh my goodness. Glue on the fingers. Now I'm feeling like this needs to be torn. <laughs> Just to match that a little bit. All right, here we go. Just tear across the edge here. Just a little bit. Of course, I could just use one of the, the decal edge, the, um, I have the decal edged ruler, right, from We Are Memory Keepers, which might give me a cleaner, or straighter, I should say, because I'm kind of, ugh. And, yeah. Okay, whatever. Let me get my... Just want to cover up the... Um, do it from the back. Any kind of white from the paper, right? Just kind of get rid of that from the, tor from the tear place. Okay, and I'm using the art glitter glue on this too. It 
Nu voilà. And I think it also needs something else. But we have a gusseted pocket. Bella, what's the matter? We have a gusseted pocket. Oh, and tonight's Monday Night Football. My Eagles are back. They've had a bit of a break. They sure have had a bit of a break. Uh... This is for signature already has an envelope in it. Let's throw this back here somewhere. Uh, let me just clean this up a little bit because we're going to uh, make it a pocket and an envelope. Oof, we need to we need to do something about that though, don't we? Let's see if I have anything left here. dog. She's back on her medicine. Um, my brother he makes so much noise. He really does. She, I took her off of her medicine because she was acting so psychotic. Oh my gosh. Um, like barking uncontrollably and running around and, you know, she just, it, it was just, it was ridiculous the, the way she was behaving. And I thought it could have been because she's just like had been on the medicine for too long or whatever. Anyway, so I took her off the medicine. And uh, within 48 hours, she <laughs> had a seizure. And I was telling my daughter this. And she goes, well, mom, did you just like take her off the medicine? I said, well, they told me I didn't need to ease her off of Trazodone. She goes, right. But the seizure medicine, I'm like, oh, well. So I, because I don't know, I, I always blamed her seizures on the Trazodone. But um, dogs just have seizures too, right? So who's to say? So she's back on her trazodone because whining is also a sign of anxiety. Could be. I'm not sure if that's what it is with her or not. Um, I think it's just like she's seeing the cat and she wants to play and the cat runs. But um, but I... Uh, cut her down on the anxiety medication. I mean, the landscapers, that kind of stuff is not going on anymore. And that's the stuff that was really why she started on the anxiety, anti-anxiety medication to begin with is because she was just, she, oh my gosh, it was horrible. If those, like the trucks, the landscapers in the neighborhood and stuff like that, she would just, she'd be a, a puddle on the floor, shaking and drooling. Oh, it was horrible. Horrible. Anyway, well, here we could do something like this. 141. What does 141 mean? I have no idea. Nobody does. And that's okay. Oops. Like so. 142. Yeah, 141 it is. 141. What is 141? Don't you know? And it's not like she's, she's actually was um, here. Usually she's sitting on top of the stairs and she could look straight out when she's laying on top of the stairs. She gets a view of, because we have the half moon window in the front door, she looks, she can look straight out the window and that's usually what sets her off too. I have to cover up that window because she just drives me crazy. Anyway, so we have that here. And we have that there. Okay. That'll work. So, so what have we done? We start introducing artwork into this is the this envelope is heavy. It's a heavy paper weight of paper. Um, but we have our lady in turquoise. She's so pretty. The colors, I love them. This is very bright, so it's still very bright. We need to tone this down with something. We need to tone this down with something. I don't know if I want him on a blue background like that. 
I don't see why not. Um, and she might kind of get lost on that. If we do a clock. She might kind of get lost in the background with the clock as well. Um, he's wearing a dark suit. He might do better with the clock. The question is, which clock are we going to stick him behind? In front of, I should say. This one. To stick them in front of that one. <laughs> I'm not doing a very good job of this. Should probably look at too late now. Um, because you know this paper pad, they have the 12 by 12 sheets and then they have them down to 6 by 6 and 4 by 4. Um, so, yeah, did not, not very rounded. And I do not have a 3 inch circle punch, so that's out of the question. Let's just get some of this on these edges. Okie dokie. Put that there. And I'm realizing that this is very close to the one that's over there. Maybe not such a good idea after all. I have him. I don't know. Will he sit like that? No, I want him on it. All right. I know I already attacked this with uh, some vintage photo. Or maybe not. Here we go. Let's tack it again. Pretty sure I did, though. Okay. There. Oh, gracious, goodness, goodness, gracious. All that stuff. And there. Okay. that and we still need to do something here get the stick and making everything stick to it um it's awfully bright awfully bright awfully bright Took care of that right away, didn't I? Didn't I? All right, let's just put this here. Um, unless we want to, I don't think I want to put anything else on here as far as a pocket or anything. 
although I could. But now, oh, and I just had a thought. I just had a thought. Um, I was thinking about clusters. And when I had mentioned about the clock, they it's like on six by six paper. And, you know, I, we can cut out smaller clocks and turn them into clusters. That is a great idea. I think that's what we're going to do. Um, okay, so we have here Paris. Hold on a second. Oop, just thought of something. Uh, oh, might be a little bit too big, but I'm going for it. I'm going for it. There. Whoops. There. France. Um, okay, what was, oh, I was thinking of something here. Oh, I'm just going to put that down there for now. Don't know if it'll stay or not. Okay, I think we've made some progress. We've done some things. We've added some art. That's a snug pocket, but it's there. Okay, well, I think this will make it for today. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, we, we've done some work. We need to work back here a little bit more. We need to work back here in the second signature a little bit more, figure out what we're doing with that. But so far, it's coming along. I hope you're enjoying it. Please let me know of any of your ideas or suggestions. I would appreciate it. This is Karen Jean from Ex Libris Crafts. I really appreciate your time and attention and you spending time with me. I know it's valuable. I hope your imagination is running wild, taking you to, on marvelous adventures. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.